Learn math like Richard Feynman with the series of books titled Mathematics for Self-Study by J.E. Thompson. Now, these set of books are written and geared towards individuals who would like to learn math on their own without needing a classroom setting or instructor guidance. Now, huge shout out to the YouTube channel, The Math Sorcerer, where I learned about these books. It's a great math channel to go look at, and I'll put his channel in the description of this video. Now, I'm not associated with his channel, but I do want to give credit where credit is due. With that being said, Richard Feynman in his books and interviews said that he learned mathematics from these series when he was in high school. Now, this series covers key mathematical topics from like basic arithmetic and algebra to calculus and makes it accessible for learners at different stages. Now, each book is structured to build upon the previous concepts and that helps make the learning progression more smooth and logical. And what's unique is the practical approach. So there are examples and exercises that directly apply math to the real world, uh, which kind of helps enhance the understanding and retention. Now, there are already great videos on YouTube reviewing calculus for the practical man, so I won't go into that book today. I just want to give you all a quick feel of the writing style of these books, and you can decide if it's for you. Really quickly, uh, I kind of just want to show you where in Richard Feynman's book, Surely You're Joking, uh, Mr. Feynman, he actually mentioned these books that he learned from. And in the section, a different toolbox on page starting on 101 in this book. Uh, so oh, let me try and get that here. I'll just read it. So every physics class, I paid no attention to what was going on with Pascal's Law or whatever they were doing. I was in the back. Whoop, I was in the back with this book, Advanced Calculus by Woods. Badger knew I had studied calculus for the practical man a bit, so he gave me the real works. It was for a junior or senior course in college. So he basically mentions um, calculus for the practical man, which is this book here that he learned from. Now, I don't have uh, Advanced Calculus by Woods. I heard it's a really great book, and I do plan on trying to actually get that book sometime in the future, but uh, Richard Feynman does mention this book in this series. All right, so as we can see, here is trigono trigonometry, sorry, I can't talk, for the practical man. And from J.E. Thompson, BS in Electrical Engineering, AM. He was Associate Professor of Mathematics, School of Engineering, and Pratt Institute. And this series was basically um, the second edition. And so it was like 1946. So uh, it's been out for quite a while, but they're actually pretty good. Um, as you can see, preface, this volume is one of a series given simplified treatments of several branches of mathematics. The purpose and general plan of the series is stated in the preface of the volume on algebra. It is there stated that from the viewpoint of the classes or readers for which the series is designed, algebra may be considered as an alphabet and grammar of mathematics. So this is just kind of the, the preface here. And as you can see, I already got some sections uh, noted here that I like to go over. So in the, yeah, in the introduction, he says, after the rules of counting and handling numbers, arithmetic are mastered. Remember, there's a arithmetic for the Practical Man book. Uh, the subject of algebra deals primarily with formulation and general symbols of the relationship among numbers and the rules of method of arithmetic. So basically, you see is there is a progression kind of here. And so here's a kind of a overview of how the book kind of looks. It kind of does a breakdown to build those relationships uh, between like the, the correlation. Like if you want to measure like the difference of an angle and stuff like that, there's, there's an actual relationship. So once you understand those relationships, you can actually prove certain identities within trigonometry. Here's kind of a simple application to be able to use uh, trigonometry after you've understood the basics to actually find the height of a tree. Uh, so basically, once you understand the basic principles, uh, of triangles and how they work, you can actually apply it to the real world. And then they also give you an example on how to actually measure the diameter of the earth, how to measure the diameter of the moon, how to measure the diameter of the sun using trigonometry. So, so these are all applications that you can use in the real world. 
So here's algebra for the practical man, and here's kind of the table of contents. I would say if you want to kind of pause the video and then look and see what it's actually, what you actually go over in this book. Uh, it's a lot of, it covers a lot of great content in here. It definitely goes over everything you'll kind of need to understand algebra in a very logical and methodical way. Uh, that's, that's very kind of down to earth. Here's kind of the introduction from the author. And it does start very basic, going over the symbols and numbers of algebra. Like I said, the, the ideal is that it's something for everyone who wants to self-study within mathematics. So here's on the addition and subtraction. There are exercises, and at the end of every book, it gives you the answers to every problem, both odd and even. So that's a good thing if you want to double check your work. But there are practice problems within this book. So multiplication and division of algebra within algebra. Factorization. So a lot of great things. Here's geometry for the practical man. And sort of the chapters involved in here. And I do apologize, I'm kind of going out of the order, but I think it's probably beneficial that you see the chapters and sections to see if like this will be any of use if you want to find these books. The origin and development of geometry. A real quick note, I, I really do how they, they go over like proofs and understanding proofs within geometry, which is pretty good to help build a very foundational, being able to think logically about mathematics and how to uh, demonstrate different relationships. So it's, it's actually really good. So this is just kind of like the origin and development of geometry in, in this section, which is probably, probably pretty good to actually understand that. So here you have a theorem, axiom, construction. So, so these are the kind of words and terminology being used in different ways of how uh, geometric concepts are actually proven. So this is actually pretty good. It goes over degrees and converting those into minutes and seconds. And so very logical and methodical way of how to understand geometry uh, at a very easy and down-to-earth level. Oh, this is really good. This is an application <laughs> of geometry on how uh, Aristosthenes, back more than a uh, like thousand years ago, was able to prove uh, the circumference of the Earth, making the assumption that the rays from the sun are almost parallel and then knowing two distances between two points, being able to figure out uh, the circumference of the Earth and then finding out the radius. So this is application of how to use uh, what you learn in this book on geometry. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you, this is uh, what Richard Feynman actually used, uh, probably one of the basics foundations when he actually went through calculus for the practical man and then uh, stepped it up a bit with uh, Advanced Calculus by Woods. So this is the book that he used, and here's actually the, the table of contents. If you want to know what uh, what he learned, I mean, he, he won the Nobel Prize in Physics, and he was considered the, the professor, so he was a great teacher. So sometimes it might be walk, walking through his shoes to figure out and understood how he was able to think and then where he actually got his foundational understanding from within math and science is, is probably pivotal if you ever want to go through and, and look at this stuff yourself. But here's the information. Here's the books and the chapters and the introduction. So fundamental ideas. I think this is something that's kind of missing. It, it can be very heavy within basic uh, calculus, but understanding the notion of a limit and and things like that are, are, are pretty good 
I think the explanations are, are pretty down to earth and easy to read within this book. So I recommend it. Functions and derivatives and their relationships. So yeah. And there's practice problems. So yeah, do I recommend the series of books? I do. Uh, I'm still going through them. Um, I kind of try to pick out certain concepts that I haven't thought of before. I like thinking of new ways to explain things. Uh, so this is a more down-to-earth way. So I, 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 I recommend this for everyone. Uh, these books are actually hard to get. I know this book in particular is a whole lot more expensive on its own just because it was recommended by Richard Feynman. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think these are a very good series of books and maybe I'll go in depth if you guys would just let me know in the comments. If you guys want to see more of these books in depth or actually practice problems. But as an outro, one thing I do have, I will have a, a video from Richard Feynman himself explaining, I guess, these books. So there was an interview that he did. So uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And let me know in the comments on what you guys think. Have a great day.